I've had this clue in my bank for like a year. Figured, you know, what else am I doing besides the thing I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, really? I have no quarrel with you, sir. Well, up. This is my enemy, this orc. It's all I care about. Leave us alone. Let us handle this business. I'm killing this orc, dude. I'm beating this orc. I don't care. Do not freeze me. This is not looking good, I gotta be honest. Uh... I mean, well, that's definitely not good. Why? 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 Just a singular clue scroll, it's all I wanted. Cheer up, man. Just cheer up. It's gonna be okay. What? Yeah, what's up, man? What's going on? And who are you, we think? I break computers. I freeze them. That's what I do. You did this? Yeah, You're I the did. reason I can't... Right, yeah. That's me. This is you? All me. Why would you do this to me? There's a good reason. What's wrong with you? Look at the other side of the room. Right over there, that- yep. Look at that, you know what that is? There's a computer. Not just any computer. Starforge PC, it would appear? That's right, old school RuneScape Starforge PC. So, just to be clear here. I wasn't done talking. You bricked my PC. Yes. And this is supposed to be fine now, everything's supposed to be okay. Correct. I wasn't done with this. Yeah, well, you know. So this is clearly an advertisement. Just, are you gonna tell me about it, or am I just gonna sit here and be upset at you? Damn, that looks good. Starforge has a limited edition old school RuneScape PC. This thing will have you playing with the GPU plug-in on, baby. Get the PC or even just the case or case bundle that comes with 12 months of membership and look at all the beautiful art. Who designed this? Volkaban. Oh, hey, he drew that too. It's oh. kind of funny, don't you think? Yeah. Same artist. Now that I'm thinking about it, people said I could never get an infernal cape. That's a reasonable thing to say to you. Yeah, well, I disagree. I think I see one right there. That's not really the same. People can buy that and have an infernal cape. Yeah, you know what? We'll run with that. Buy an infernal cape in the description with that code. Go this ahead. This is looking a lot better for people, I think. Thanks to Starforge for sending me this new PC after these unfortunate events have taken place. Appreciate you sponsoring this video. Hmm. February 9th, 2022. Quest 151, Land of the Goblins. Last time on Dorgashun, we foiled Sigmund's racist plan by almost killing him before he teleported away, letting the Dorgashun connect their city with Keldegrim, their first connection with another society. Very beautiful stuff. I'm underneath Lumbridge in the Gob Caves, and it looks like we've got to talk to Grubfoot. He's here for some reason. This is the guy that tried the armor on in Goblin Diplomacy. Very iconic role he plays in the world. Grubfoot wants to talk to Zanuck, who he's calling the Chosen Commander, believing she will lead all goblins goblins to a new age. Grubfoot's begging to go inside the city, but Miss Tag isn't letting him because surface goblins are not allowed. I just vouched an offer to take responsibility for Grubfoot because I'm an idiot. Man, this makes me wish we had companions. Just knowing the mechanics are there. Maybe not Grubfoot, but like a, you know, a hot sword lady or something. No one would vote no to that. There's Zanuck staring at the wall as she notoriously does. Grubfoot's saying that other goblins are denying that Zanuck is the chosen commander because she doesn't worship the big high war god Bandos. Grubfoot has been having an existential crisis, thinking that there's more to goblins and humans killing each other. Grubfoot dreamt of Zanuck, leading everyone to Ubiusk, the land of the goblins, the place that goblins originate from. What do you think, by release? What? I don't know, dude. I don't- I don't know anything. Why would I know any of this at all? I'm just here. It doesn't matter what I think. There's a secret temple of Bandos worshipping, so we're gonna go there and find out more about Goblin Land. The scientists made us teleports to go to the cave system. Still the coolest animation in the game. And here we are. Oh, this is just the cave outside the fishing guild. You're telling me this is where the secret Bandos worshipping lair has been the entire time? Yeah, this is very new looking and, and not very secret at all, I'll say. Okay, Xanax going in. Wait, Xanax, uh, maybe- can you put in a good word for me before you walk in th those goblins? Doors? Why would she not vouch for me before going in? Why did she just leave me here? She didn't think this was gonna be a problem? Yeah, who would have thought? They're not letting me into the secret goblin base because I'm human. Who could have seen this coming, Xanuck? Well, I mean, if you guys are absolutely certain I can't go in... Now, I can continue doing what I just did. Just a constant flow of death. Or you let me in. That second option is free and easy, and it makes sense also. He says the makeover mage can potentially help me become a goblin somehow, so we're gonna go there. I'm making teleports to get back. Hey, can you turn me into a goblin? Really? Switching genders mid-conversation? That was fucking rude. You don't just switch genders while talking to someone. Everyone knows that. They don't want to be held responsible for anything if it goes wrong, so I'm gonna make the potion myself. I need a toad flax potion and farmakos berries. The hell are farmakos berries? Oh. Made the goblin potion. We're all set. Oh, we've got options. How about default? This is walking with purpose, is what you're looking at. Me won't get into temple. You know, it's amazing that goblins didn't make their own language, and they just butchered English instead. What's your name, goblin? Oh, this guy's gonna guess. Is it stupid ear? No. Snotbeard? No. Moss chin? No. Smelly feet? 
Yeah, that's the one. Me knew me guessed right. Yeah, you smart gob. Good guesser. Smelly feet has arrived. Let's talk to the high priest, Big Head. Where's Zanuck? It's like Gary talking. Zanuck asked about Ubiusk, but didn't pass this dude's test. She started shouting that war is bad and we don't need gods. Zanuck, that was incredibly nonsensical. I thought you were the smart kind of breed of goblin. Yeah, Xanax in prison. Who's a Mogard tribe? Has her in their little enclave. They wear black armor, so I have to get black armor and that should be convincing enough to prove that I'm one of them. How they get black armor? I love how I could just say stupid shit. This is just normal IQ and communication for goblins. Oh, he's giving me the color of every tribe. It's not suspicious that I don't know any of this. He hopes goblins go to Aggie the Witch and beat her up and take her stuff, because that's the way of the big high war god. Also, I made the die already. I had a very vivid dream about this whole thing, just like Grubfoot did. And it had black dye in it, so I made it. You can pass. Yeah, I'm like a freaking quarterback. Where is Xanik? Me hate humans. When me leave temple, me go and kill many human children. You know what? There's actually, uh, go to Varrock Center. There's these two asshole kids who, who made me give them money a few years ago. Start with them. Hey, Xanik, it's me by release. By release? Yeah, from the show. You're on camera, by the way. Wait, I'm giving her one of the spheres that I brought? I mean, I made like 20 of them, so I guess you can have one. I have to pass a test about the big high war god if I want to know about Ubiusk. True or false? Those who do not believe in big high war god, whether they goblins or other races, must die. Yeah, true. Why? Goblins ask why on these tests? That is bullshit, dude. What? Uh, because Big High War God demands it. Nice. Big High War God chose goblins to be his race because goblins mighty warriors. True. Really? Then how we come to be mighty warriors before Big High War God find us? Uh, I don't know, dude. It's natural. We're natural warriors. Naturally. Let me tell you what goblins are naturally. We tiny, we weak, we cowardly, we love peace and not war. All that is good, that is strong, and that is powerful, we get from Big High War God. Oh. Goblins not mighty warriors before he chose us. Us. Big bad scary goblins. You're level two goblins. True or false? Goblin leaders should be good at planning in order to win battles. Uh, I think the stupid goblin answer is false here. One of the commandments probably. <laughs> oh, I got it right. What does the chosen commander do? Uh, I think victory over the whole world. Okay, nice. Now I get to know literally anything I want. I asked where the goblin land is and he said Snothead might know and Snothead is a dead goblin, but he was a high priest and they're buried through some sort of magic and they can still talk to the last high priest to ask questions. I can't go in and talk to them without six keys of some sort, so I'm gonna go get the keys. I have to infiltrate every tribe, so I've got all armor colors except white. I need to get some weird fish in this ancient dwarf place from a couple quests ago to use as bait for another weird fish. Okay, I got the white armor. Purple guys first. Just gonna take the key from your pocket. Nice. There's the white key, yellow key, black key, blue, an orange key. Okay, I've got all six keys to unlock the door, and I'm gonna do this right next to the only guy who's supposed to be able to do this. I'm sure he's not gonna look over here. In we go. So we say their name, and then they come to life. Snothead. Hello. All right, where's Goblin Land? Snothead doesn't know, but he said the high priest before him might. Also, what's it like being dead? A lot of people are interested in that. It dark, very dark, and cold. I mean, that's probably just for you. Snail feet. Howdy. This guy also doesn't know. This one doesn't know enough. Beyond the Icelands to the north, beyond the mountains to the west, beyond the oceans to the south, and the deserts to the east. That means nothing to me, I think. No living goblin has ever been there. At least that's what the guy before him said. So let's ask him. Good luck in your quest, human. Wow. So if you go far enough back in time, the high priests speak almost normal. So I guess they didn't butcher English on purpose. Something must have happened uh, in the timeline there where literature and intelligence were just thrown out the window. I didn't bring any food, so hopefully he doesn't... Ow. Oh, he's conjuring skeletons now. Nice, yes, thank you. Okay. Ubiusk is another plane of existence. No goblin alive today has ever been there. Barriers between the planes were ever to be broken. Goblin blood would call out and open a portal to Ubiusk. What does that even mean? Goodbye, human. I'm sure that the chosen commander will find what she's looking for when you bring her to Ubiusk. Oh, so he knows about Xanik. So at least that confirms something. Okay, back to Dorg. They're theorizing we can use a fairy ring to somehow get to whatever plane of existence we need to go to. Could this be hit by release? Could this be my destiny? Could this be why I was marked by the tears of Guthix? I had probably... I don't know. Why? Why would I know that? That's such a crazy question. That's what we're trying to figure out. We're meeting at the ferry ring south of the city. All right, what is, what's going on here? He wants me to, uh, well, he wants me to press buttons until whatever he wants to happen happens. Hey, look at that, it worked. Here we go. Oh, this place sucks. We're gonna look around to see if we're missing the piles of money or whatever they're expecting to find here. What is that? I don't, what? I'm right here, you can see- uh, Don't tell me not to go far, dude. We're doing something. This is really it, isn't it? What did you just say?
Oh, okay. I thought you were joining the this is it, isn't it club with every other major side character. You mean it literally like there's nothing more to this place. Got it. Yeah, this place is a disappointment, we've decided. We're gonna look inside this box. It's our last hope for fun. I think that's the bando symbol on it. What's happening? I don't know. Quit levitating and we'll figure it out. Don't... Damn it. The portal is closing. You've got to get back now. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Where's Xanik? Man, I'm starting to think Bandos was right. Questions should be punishable by death. Everyone keeps asking me things. Getting on my, on my nerves. I'll find you, Xanik. Unless Jagex decides this plot isn't worth continuing. So there's cooler shit to make. And quest complete. You know, that's the kind of ending I like. One that doesn't end happy. This is the most realistic type of ending. All right, let's move on. How about... March 23rd, 2022. Quest 152. Temple of the Eye. We're talking a wizard Purston in Alcarid. She's the lead researcher in teleportation magic for the Order of Wizards. Sounds very made up. I'm by release. The lead character in a show where I complete every quest in order of release date for the order of YouTube likes. It's all I've ever wanted from anyone, Purston. Just likes. It's what fuels my happiness. It's what wakes me up in the morning. Just raw likes on YouTube. That's it. You think they've liked the video yet, Purston? You think that they've gotten the hint yet when I said click the like button? Surely they've clicked it by now, Purston. She's asking what I know of the Abyss. Well, I recently helped a group of Zamorakian wizards gain access to the Runescence Mine. In return, they gave me access to the Abyss. That is not something I should say to someone immediately. You do realize the Zamorak Magical Institute are enemies to the Order of Wizards, right? Yeah, but you ever tried crafting nature runes, Purston? I promise I'd do a whole lot worse to make that walk shorter, I'll tell you that right now. You might be the perfect person to aid me in a little task. A little task? Sounds like the time someone asked me for one small favor. Not sure I'm ready for that again. Yeah, I'm with my guy on this. Let's keep it clean today. She found this amulet. I bought it off some dumb archaeologist for 100 coins. The desert treasure guy. The amulet has a symbol of the Order of Wizards and the Wizard's Tower. It's thousands of years old, but their order was formed only 200 years ago. This amulet had energy from Rune Essence and energy from the Abyss. Our goal is to find out where this amulet came from. This is where you ask, what's the catch? I don't know. It's, it's cool. I, catches are just expected at this point. I don't care. I'm glad you asked. By release? I didn't ask. It's all right. Go ahead. The spell that can trace the amulet only works from inside the abyss, so this is my thing to do suddenly. I'm gonna go talk to our pal Zamorak Mage in Varrock and try to be discreet about this. He's asking why he should help. I said because I gave him access to the rune essence. He's saying he doesn't owe me anything because I have access to the abyss. And that was my only argument, so it looks like our journey ends here. He's suspecting that I'm working with the Order of Wizards. I'm telling him I bought it off an archaeologist. And he just put a spell on the amulet. Great. He's gonna help me, but I have to bring him a bucket of water and a strong cup of tea. The tea seller just northeast of here can give you one. He owes me. Just tell him Herbert sent you. Wait, your name's Herbert? Is that a problem? I guess not. I just never had you down as a Herbert. I was thinking more like a Jacques de Gatineau. Between you and me, Herbert's strong cups of tea are actually just my regular cups of tea. But if it makes him happy, you know, if I ratted this guy out, We'd probably see a new tea seller here tomorrow. Nothing like a nice cup of tea. And why does he not get the text above his head when he does it? He's gonna help me, but we have to do it from inside the abyss. So the guy in the abyss already is gonna be the guy to help me. Meet me in the wildy when you're ready to be teleported there. Can't you just teleport me from here? From the middle of Varrock? What if someone's watching? If someone was watching, they'd know you have a secret chaos temple here in Varrock. I reckon you're pretty safe. Wait, people don't know this is here? This whole temple is supposed to be a secret? You're telling me no other NPC has wandered in here through the unlocked door in the past 20 years, even once? Oh, the bucket of water is to give the initiate maintaining the abyssal rift a bath. You want me to throw it over him? Exactly. This guy has hundreds of dudes running around here every day, suspects nothing, and then I show up to dump a bucket of water on him. This is gonna go great for me, I bet. Oh, someone's trying to NPC contact him. He's repairing someone's pouches right now. Very good. Bath time. What in the actual? <laughs> Herbert said you needed a wash. He's gonna pinpoint where the energy's coming from and needs my help. Needs me to work out what order those things go in. I don't know what that means or why. Oh, it's one of those like trial and error memory things. All right, we did it. Okay, he scribbled details onto a scroll. A competent enough wizard should be able to use it. What would you say the threshold for competent wizard is? Because, I mean, I've got every spell book, and I'm 80-something magic. I, I, I'm i sure I can do this, whatever this is. I'm giving this to Purston, since I'm not a competent wizard, apparently. <laughs> she just found a tracking spell on it. Herbert was trying to play dirty tricks. Classic freaking Herbert. She's going to program it to send false info. Hey, while you're at it, can you code in something about the tea seller's strong tea just being his normal tea? Don't worry about what that means, but it'll be really funny if you do that. we got to go 
to the wizard's tower and get help from three other mages, and she's gonna teleport me there. That is such a good feature of quests. That they should do all of them should do this. Every single time an NPC wants you to go somewhere, they invent a teleport on the spot to send you wherever they want to send you. That is good design. Talking with Cedridor. So purston has been MIA for a long time, and this is how he's finding out she's back. He's asking if I got this scroll from a Zamorakian wizard. Why? Because it's red? You think just because it's red, it comes from Zamorak? That is messed up of you to be thinking like that. Yes, I got it from a Zamorak wizard. Oh, it's written on very thin flesh instead of parchment. I've just been carrying around a sheet of dead skin. <laughs> Perfect. He's basically saying this entire thing with Purston disappearing for a year and then coming back suddenly with a Zamorak spell and talks of ancient teleportation matrixes is very sketchy. And personally, I don't see the problem here. I think he needs to relax. I like how I'm already going a bat for Purston, who I met like 15 minutes ago. He's going to do an analysis of the incantation to make sure it's safe. And Treyborn has some new apprentices who could help us out. This might be a good learning opportunity for them, which is another way of saying there's some expendable wizards upstairs. All right, I just helped out Treyborn's apprentices and solved weird math puzzle problems for them. So they're going to help me out. Oh, they're saying wizard words. That is a bad idea, historically. A portal, and it's blue. That means it's safe. You know what? Any portal that you go through and you're not instantly killed or attacked on the other side is a good portal in my book. What the hell is this? We're deep below the sea, just south of Mauritania. Really? Makes me wonder. Settled! They settled! Swamp Lenick! Dear Diary, it's been two years since my retirement. I love it here. I'm completely peaceful now. Swamp man! I hope he heard me. That probably brightened his day. What the fuck was that? The statue is Aaliyah, Justashar of the Lion, Guardian of the Temple of the Eye. That is a mouthful. That's where we are, the Temple of the Eye. And Rune Guardians are here, like the ones from Mage Training Arena. We gotta get the hell out of here. Now this, this red stuff here, I'm guessing evil. You know, those plants look similar to stuff I've seen in the quiet. I'm more than capable of working this out. Maybe you should go help the others instead. Oh, right. You're the protagonist girl boss. My bad, Cordelia. I'm an idiot. You're not. I'm gonna look at these markings. Okay, we have arrived in the paint bucket realm. And look at that, a mysterious stone. Hope that thing doesn't change the entire course of the Gilinor timeline or something creepy like that. Mysterious voices. Sarah Daman people. Aaliyah is tasked with building a sanctuary for the eye, which is what this thing is. Zamorak has tasked his collector with finding the eye. I will hunt him down before he does, along with any others. What the? Very normal response from me. Joss! What did you say? Uh... I said jazz. You like jazz? Cordelia, the main protagonist, is talking about a strange energy from the abyss looking shit over there, and she still doesn't want any help. Oh, look at that. Cordelia has worked out what the energy is. It's abyssal energy. God damn, you're a genius, Cordelia. Someone needs to give you money. Theory, this is an old teleportation matrix. They used power from the abyss to create portals to the runic altars, and with power from this eye thing and rune guardians, they were able to create runes at lightning speed. Person's gonna cast a revealing spell to see if we're missing anything here. And uh, looks like we were missing something in here. It's another portal. It's not blue. And there goes Purston. See you later. Cordelia, be careful. That's... <laughs> no, never mind. I, I've never doubted you. It's an honor to be a supporting character in your story. That is a big guy. He's saying to use the cells and to protect him while he closes the rift. I don't know what that means. Good thing these yellow arrows exist because this is, would be going a lot different otherwise. Okay, grab the cell, place it there. Okay, created a barrier. It should protect us against those creatures. Yeah, unless they go around it. Restore my brethren. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna chisel this rock guy. It's very alive now. Now I have to mine the rune guardians for energy. I, I, I just built them. Do I bring them back to life or mine their corpses? What, which one do I do? What's going on? This is weird. This is a weird thing I'm doing. I'm making guardian essence, apparently. I'm just assuming this is all part of the plan. It's incredible that this guy, Felix, has figured out this entire mini game in a matter of seconds. I shall now use power from the abyss to open a portal to the runic altar of mind. Just do it. You don't have to announce it. Okay, I gotta craft mind runes. Oh, nice. It's all coming together. Sure, yeah, I, as long as you think that. Okay, so I healed this thing. Gotta craft some water runes now. I've made a stronger guardian with the water thing, I think. I, I don't know. I, I'm doing great. That's all I truly know. I'm gonna power up the guardian again. Okay, now he's got the power to close the rift. Whoa. 
The world is saved for the 800th time in this series. I guess we opened up a rift to a part of the abyss called the Scar. The eye that we saw earlier is not here anymore. They removed it after some battle, and the eye was used one last time to permanently close the rift. These guardians of the rift were created to protect this place in the event that the rift was ever reopened, which it just did, because uh, we, not just me, opened it. And since the eye isn't here anymore, we have no way to seal the rift permanently. But here's my question. If the eye closed the rift permanently last time, how did it reopen with just a simple revealing spell? Unless Purston didn't cast a revealing spell and casted the the sacred reopening spell and was in on it the whole time. Because clearly, the eye didn't close it permanently, so it doesn't even matter that it's not here. If that eye thing didn't get rid of the rift, nothing's getting rid of it. Cedrador, it all went wrong. Everyone's fucking dead. All of them. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just, uh, it's just a mini game in there, man. All right, quest complete. I'm calling it right now. Purston is the antagonist of this story, dude. Uh, things aren't adding up with her, but at least we got another way of training runecrafting, so that's nice. April 27th, 2022, quest 153, Beneath Cursed Sands. This quest continues the Caridian Amasket storyline, last being Contact. We've got to talk to Jamila here in Sofinum. She's got a special item in stock that we'll love. A thank you for all you've done for our city. Great, that's so nice of you. It's it's great to finally be recognized for all the things I'm doing. What is this, a gold ring? Jamila tries to put the ring on your finger. As she does, she slips you a message. It seems the ring is too small. Never mind. What do you mean, never mind? Well, time for me to get on with my work. Hang on, what? You got me a ring to thank me with, and because it didn't fit, now I get nothing? You took a chance of guessing my finger size, and you missed, so now it's done? This is a stupid present idea. Why would you get my hopes up like that? Just a note. A camp by the cliffs. Oh yeah, you do, you've done so much for us, so we got you this gift. Directions to do more things for us. That's oh, this lady. What is that on the table? Odd spectacles? Why, what is, why are these... Wow. Good, you made it. Yeah, good. So this is Miza, is what we're going with. We briefly saw her during contact. She's supposed to be spying in Menaphos for Alcarid, and uh, this is not Menaphos. She got out of Menaphos somehow by pretending to be dead, maybe? My list of allies grows shorter every day, but you actually seem to care about what's happening out here. You also seem to know what you're doing. Brave of you to assume that I ever actually know what I'm doing, I said, wearing this. She's saying that citizens of Menaphos have been disappearing, including guards. They've been leaving the city, which is supposed to be impossible. She found out where they're going. An old necropolis to excavate something. There's also something strange going on with them. We're gonna go check it out. Whoa. They just do this 24-7. They're in some sort of trance. My god, Miza. I've seen this before. In the Skyrim Dragonborn DLC. Let's hope this quest is slightly shorter than that, please. I'm gonna go get a closer look. Try to keep a low profile. I don't think I could get my profile any lower if I tried. Low profile isn't really one of my specialties. That is true. I'm notoriously amazing at getting caught. Bird snare. Why is this here? You're an Iron Man, so you can't take that. Why? Did someone place this here? Since when are items on tables off limits for Iron Men? What, what, is, the, what is this? I mean, I definitely don't need a bird snare here, but I mean, it's, it's the principle. This isn't right. What's up with you, guard? The work must be completed. Okay, so they all just say the work must be completed. Inspect blocked entry. The blockage looks to have happened fairly recently. Okay. Cutscene moment. You should not be here. Why? The work cannot be disturbed. The mistress commands it. You mean the devourer. This is all her doing, isn't it? I'd recognize her work anywhere. I don't think I'd recognize her work anywhere. I mean, that seems kind of pretentious. You know too much. She must be removed. No. Okay, Miza, I, I could have gotten myself out of that. Don't say that. Wait, am I fighting this guy? Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting to fight anything yet. Maybe I'd put this on. Uh, fucking what? Is he turning my prayer off? What is this? Holy shit! I, I gotta go. I gotta get out. I'm getting out of here. I'm panicking. I, I'm dead. I have died. Good luck, Miza. Hmm. So we've learned that prayer, not ideal here. Time for dragon mace. <laughs> oh, do you ever see someone hit that high before in this game? It's gonna drive the dragon mace stock up. And there he goes. Miser, are you using a steel dagger? What, what are you doing? That's what you brought with you? Is that your go-to weapon? There's better things out there. You're a spy. I wouldn't rely on that thing. I guess you're fine. Nice job keeping things low profile. Yeah, I tried, Miza. I did. I tried my best, but you barged in and then I died. I could have weaseled my way out of that easily. It's ultimately your fault. Were you able to discover anything? Uh, yes. Praying melee sometimes does the opposite of what you want it to do. A masket, also known as the devourer, is behind 
behind this. The goddess? You're joking. Yeah, you you got me. I'm joking. Oh, hey, that guy is up now. Apparently zero HP doesn't kill enemies anymore. That could be a problem, potentially. Yeah, Mask it hypnotized these guys just like she did to me that one time. Apparently she went inside the pyramid tomb place and blocked the entrance off after. There were monsters helping her, and they walked like humans, but had heads of insects. Those would be scarabs. Disgusting. We're gonna meet Miza back at her camp. The guard mentioned scabarites, so we're gonna go around to the cliffs nearby and see if we can learn anything from them. While I do this, Miza's gonna go get a cure for the pox that everyone's got in there, because she thinks they've tried everything but actual medicine, so she's gonna try that route out. I wouldn't waste my time. Medicine's never worked for anyone. Why do I feel like some little guy is gonna pop out and scream Utini and fucking electrocute me? Found a stone tablet. This note is a warning to a friend about Zamorakian's coming and needing to defend Scabra's artifacts. There's a chest in the southernmost pillar back there, and Occam's name unlocks it. An old furnace. Yeah, this is a great place to train your smithing. This pillar says the scarabs make their homes in the great halls below. I'm gonna go get the things I need for that. Okay, southern pillar. There's the chest. So the chest is just Occam's name in the alphabet, but with numbers instead of letters. A1, K11, H8, E5, M13. We're in. We've got a scarab mold now. Made a scarab emblem. Gonna place it in this pillar, and we're in. Hello! Do these guys destroy me if I pray? Okay, now we're good. A lot less stressful when my prayer works and does what it's supposed to. Down you go. And there he goes. Alright, where are we? What are we doing? It's a door here. Dare I go in? I cannot. I'd like to go hang out with those bug men over there, so I'm gonna figure out how to get in there. Okay, so we gotta dodge missiles. Alright, so there's two levers. One at each side of this little basement area. I've gotta pull the lever over here, sprint around, and pull the lever on the opposite side before time runs out. Let's try it. Okay. I don't know how, like, tick perfect I need to be here. This is kind of stressful. These ones are, like, random. I don't- I don't- I don't know, like, which- Oh god, I'm doing fine. Okay, nice. It was absolute luck, but I'm fine. Uh, that was a close one. We're fine. I really hope I have some leeway here, because I'm not going very fast. Should be the last time we have to wait. Oh, no. Ah, oh, dude, I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till it resets, because I'm not gonna try and make that. I already screwed it up. Yes! Guys, I forgot to record, because it took me, like, three more tries, and I was so pissed that I stopped recording, and I was just... And I forgot to... Don't look at my HP. I hate these puzzles, dude. If the man was sitting to the left of the man who got there first, and this guy is five foot tall, and he's sitting next to the shorter man, but the six foot man walked in after him, and then uh, started juggling balls, but the guy who brought the balls to the table is a lot shorter than the short man mentioned in the previous sentence, so which way are they sitting at the table? I hate it. All right, I, I did my darndest, so we'll see. Here we go. Oh, yes, perfect. Yes, thank you. I love these puzzles. Oh, they're great. I, I realized where I messed up. I just had to switch these two around. Okay, thank God. We've done it. What's up, ghost? Do I need a ghost speak? Oh, I do not. Oh, there's a gold ring to make up for the one I didn't get at the start. This is Mahar, son of Osmumpton. Osmumpton was the last pharaoh that was handpicked by Tumekin to rule the desert. Tumekin is the god of the sun, who created all of the Caridian Desert. Long story short, Osmumpton is buried in that big-ass pyramid back there, and Amasket has been trying to get in because Osmumpton is buried with weapons that would give Amasket the ability to transcend from demigoddess to goddess. And since her whole thing is eliminating every soul ever, uh, we don't like the idea of that. So it's up to us to get into that tomb and stop What's this guy saying? I ask that you remember your original purpose here. My original purpose here. Hmm. Do you remember that by chance? Do you remember why I'm here? Oh, Scabarites. That's right. The two dudes upstairs. Yeah, they shouldn't be here. Let's uh, go clear them out. One of them's a high priest of the Scabaras and doesn't realize he's under the Devourer's command, so I'm gonna try to free him. He taught me an incantation to uncorrupt the priest guy. We gotta fight one of them in there, and from what I remember, this is basically the definition of a DPS check. So I'm gonna start the fight and immediately leave so I can get some different gear and resupply. Hello! Fear not! I am here to rescue you! Has anyone barged in a room, said fear not, and come out with a mission success? I'm just gonna pretend that that was ironic. Kill him. Wait! I'm starting the incantation. We're saving him. Silence. You can't say that. I guess he can. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport out. That's a man with four arms and four knives, and I'm not ready for that at the moment. Be right back. Alright, here's the plan. We go in, we shoot him, we run away from him, and then keep shooting him. The old crook maneuver. Worked for me then, it's gonna work for me now. Is this an honorable strategy? No. But neither is having two extra arms that are both wielding weapons and being 250 levels over the maximum possible combat level, so. Here we go. Okay, so you put that thing down. I'm gonna attack it. Oh! Turns out we need to not be near him at all. Like, very far from him, I'd say. I think this is working. Just gonna keep doing this. 400 HP to go. Oh, I did not mean to do that. 
Oh no. Ow. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything, everything's always been fine. That's all I am. It's all I know is fine. I feel great. I feel great right now, even, I'd say. HP to go. Still have food. Should be wrapping this up here. One HP. Just one HP. I can I can hit one HP. I've done that so many times before I can't tell you. Please. Great. One HP in a dream, dude. What was that? Okay, now I'm saying the incantation. I don't think the other guy was savable, so this guy would have just like snapped out of it and been scared out of his mind. So it's probably good I didn't do the incantation during the fight. I've been under control my whole life. What do you mean by that? Like, you have no happy memories here? This is just, you've always been this? It's like, corrupted guy? Dude, who are you now that you're not corrupted? I'm not a god. I don't understand how they do things. He's also saying that they don't know anything about the whole pox thing going on. A mask it took some scary tumic and beast things into the tomb. You know, if I didn't know any better, priest, uh, I think you'd be describing some sort of raid thing going on here. Something creepy like that. The devourer also controls Pharaoh Chemesis of Menaphos. And that's the dude in charge over there. This guy's gonna try to save the corrupted Scabras. Good luck with that. Misa's in Narda, so we gotta go report in. I guess the pox they've been dealing with for 17 years is curable suddenly. All it took was someone talking to this person here once. Do you know the cadaver bush? Yes. One time I used some to help this young couple. I gave one of them a cadaver potion to appear dead. It all went wrong though, and he ended up with her cousin instead. Right. Oh, and I used one another time when I was helping my arm. Oh, these jokes are showing up here now. Good. I'm not sure I need to know about your private life. No, no, he's a troll. He needed to kill an old man, so we used a potion to fake it. It all went a bit wrong though again. Seems to happen a lot for some reason. That has nothing to do with me, we think. All of us. What on Gilinor are you on about? You want to cure these dudes or not? Stay focused, Miza. Why are you asking me all these questions? So the bark on cadaver bushes can cause pox-like effects on the skin, which is what this apothecary girl suspects is happening here. And the high priest we just saved didn't know about the pox at all. So there's another party playing the Sophinum games that we don't know about. I gotta get this little plant over here for the potion. It looks like there's a crocodile in my way. This might be the first raid boss. Hello there, crocodile. I think I'll call you Roger. You're looking very hungry, Roger. Roger stares at you. Give Roger some meat? Yeah, that's fine. You give Roger some meat. He happily takes it before swimming away. You feel that you've connected with Roger on a deep level. The two of you are now firm friends. Me and Roger are robbing a bank later. Okay, I got the plant. To make the cure, we have to get the ingredients to the right temperature, and she wants me to get her equipment heated up. I don't... Wouldn't it just be faster for you to do that? What if I break it? What is this, dude? What am I looking at? Alright, I don't... I'm just gonna press stuff until something happens. Holy shit. Dude, I think that might have taken me 20 minutes. It's like the world was moving in slow motion while I had that thing open. All right, we gotta go to the high priest and soften him and uh, give him this medicine. Hey, priest, drink this right now. Just trust me for a second. Priest is in disbelief that we have a cure. We tried everything. Yeah, well, you know, sacrificing those camels and bathing in, in their blood was a good try and everything, but these herbs we found might just be crazy enough to work. All right, I'm going back to Necropolis to stir up some trouble again. Looks like we have a welcome party. Don't it be ridiculous, Miza. These guys are here to kill us. I like how I give them a little intro before the incantation, as if I'm not giving them a window to interrupt this and attack us. Hey, look at that. Everyone's a friend again. We're telling them to go to Sophenum or somewhere that's just not Menaphos, because it's bad there and they shouldn't go there. Trust me, I've seen it. It's really, it's really not much going on. Well, that's quite the blockage. Yes, well, you let my gastroenterologist worry about that. Stay focused here, Miza. Oh, look at that. The citizens we just saved from eternal slavery are back to help us. Wow, this would simply never happen at all. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? There's just no chance these dudes would U-turn to come mine more. Also, what is this new genre of pickaxe you have here? Where did you get that? Oh, do you have an extra one? Yeah, they're just gonna go continue mining for no money. This is the most unbelievable part of the story so far. We're on the move. Stop. What is it? Stay quiet. Yeah, easy for you to say. You're wearing fucking rags. I've got 100 pounds of armor on. You stay quiet with your mouth. How about? Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the squirk man himself. No one's squirking anymore, are they? Osmond's lecturing Miza on not staying in Menaphos and how reckless she is. I don't really care. I don't have an opinion on that. Khalif, did you think I wasn't aware of your little romance? Khalif. Oh, the dead guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I looted his dagger. Probably have it in the, in the bank somewhere. Khalif dying has impacted Miza's ability to think rationally. Are you gonna elaborate on that at all, or are you just rambling to yourself here? It made me see the truth. You're a monster. Does anyone want to fill me in? Because I'm just standing here. This is very uncomfortable for me. I serve Al Karid. I'll never stop serving Al Karid. I've just stopped serving you. I am no longer the main character right now. I have no idea what's going on. So, <laughs> I hope you don't believe yourself innocent in all of this. You've been meddling in affairs that are not your concern. Osman, if you were really a spy, 
You'd know that's all I do. I meddle in affairs. That's my thing. How is that not obvious by now? I've only been trying to help by curing the pox. Tell me, who does that help? Uh, the people with pox. Maybe. What is this guy's pro- Are they trying to make me hate Osman because it's working? Osman wants Menifos isolated forever, and my curing pox stunt doesn't help with that. Osman, those dudes are possessed by probably the most dangerous antagonist in our universe, and honestly, I think you should just go back to being invisible and stay like that until I continue doing everything and inevitably fix it one day. You speak of legends and fairy tales. Osman, uh, around the corner, there are things with human bodies, four arms, and an insect head. Our world is all fairy tales. That's not a fairy, that's just real. That's reality here. How do you know so little if you're spying all the time? You suck at this. You're a terrible spy. Everyone thinks it. Osmond's stubborn about this and I don't really care. Everything's shaking. Okay. Oh, look, red fire appearing out of nowhere. Time to go. Yeah, about two minutes ago, it was time for you to go, I think. Get out of here. Maybe put down the squirks and spy better. Watch a James Bond movie or something. I think we just kill him next time. Who are you? The mistress is tired of your interference. Yeah? Well, you tell her to get in line. Pray to your false gods. Oh, this guy's not turning my prayers off too, is he? Okay. Okay, no, they work. We're good. Oh no, he's spawning silhouettes. Yeah, this dude's mechanics are a little wacky. He spawns this, and he also does that, where he bursts very scary lightning that he charges up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fine. I just locked myself out of a combo eat. Don't. That's okay, we're fine. I'm good. I'm all good. Everything's fine over here. That's all I am. It's all I ever am in this series. All right, we did it. Osman just watched all of that? Why are you still here? He still doesn't believe that this was the work of an ancient goddess. What was that the work of then, you think? That was just a, a casual desert occurrence to you? Dark magic is clearly at play. Whoa. You know what? I think you're onto something there. Something very smart. Write that down for us. Dare I ask for a thank you this time? I don't care. I, I don't really want to ask him. No, but really, we have to kill him. He's a liability in a lot of ways. Is this a gate that's just here for how, how long has this gate been here? I've been going all the way around this whole quest. Did they ghost patch this in? Like, like 10 minutes ago. Their pox is cured. They're gonna meet with Menifos at the bridge later. This is big news. Very huge development. It's also very terrifying since they're probably possessed over there. So basically, however Menifos' pharaoh reacts to our cure medicine thing going on, is gonna tell us more about the devourer's intentions. If the pox are a part of their plan and they want to stay infected, or if it's just nothing to do with the mascot at all and they're gonna cure their pox. How are you doing, by the way? What happened between Khalif and I is none of your business. What? I didn't say- <laughs> What? I'm just nice. I'm a nice person. Why are you like that? I'll never check in with you again. Miza shows you a spear with a karis on the end. You, you gonna stab me or something? Right here in front of everyone? Oh, wait. Osman left this for me? Very weird and out of character, but I'm, I'll take it. Oh, another gift from the high priest. Enchanted circlet. I think that lets me not need water skins. Uh-oh. A classic Mexican standoff. But instead of guns, they have vials of medicine. Yeah. No, those are red eyes if I've ever seen any. That place is a lost cause. The city of Menifos will begin preparations to end the quarantine. It will take some time for these preparations to be complete. Good day. Why why do I feel like that was more the devs talking? <laughs> They're the ones possessing that guy. Well, that was anticlimactic. Yeah, they ran out of money. They couldn't do another fight scene, so that's what we got. Miza's telling me to take a small break and then meet her at Tombs of a Masket when I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be there soon. Sure, yeah, I'll. Here I go. And there we have it. Quest complete. 50,000 agility XP? That is one of the best gifts of any quest, I'd say. That's amazing. It's always sad when 50k XP doesn't level you up anymore. I miss those days. Well, it's time we sat down and had a talk. I haven't addressed any of this in a while, and I want to set everything straight and kind of give the game plan moving forward. My release has been ongoing for five years. The series was originally supposed to end 10 quests ago when I finished Song of the Elves, but we're fortunate enough to have game devs that actually give us content. So the initial 143 quests that I set out to complete has turned into 165. That being said, I want to have a solidified ending to the series. It's been this gigantic weight on my shoulder for almost two years now, and with Jagex pumping more quests out, I just simply haven't found the right time to make that final sprint to the finish line. I think that time is here, and I will be 
be finishing by release. Playing the account, recording it, and producing it into episodes is all I will be doing here until it's done, but I will be taking a different approach for the remaining quests. This series, especially with the modern day quests coming out, is all about the story, so that's what I want to focus on. The other two quests in 2022 are Sleeping Giants and The Garden of Death, and I'll be real, uh, trying to make these two quests into an entertaining piece of content is mind-numbingly boring, and I'm not gonna force you to watch something that I feel I have to force myself to make. It's just not fun for any of us. One of them is an introduction to a smithing minigame, and the other is just a large, ridiculous puzzle without any other NPCs or characters involved, just you and plants underground and paper that make minimum sense that you have to piece together. It's going to take alien food eight years to complete, let's just say that. Which, by the way, if you're a fan of by release, you will be a fan of Unguided. If Sleeping Giants or the Garden of Death become relevant in future storylines, I will refer back to them. But I did both of them in the order of release date, and my account is currently residing in January 2023. The remainder of by release is going to primarily focus on the rest of the Majorat storyline, since basically every quest, aside from the Varlamore ones, play a part in it. So here is how the rest of by release is going to look. Episode 52 will be Secrets of the North and Desert Treasure 2. Episode 53 is going to be Path of Gluffrey and Defender of Varrock. And episode 54, while Guthic sleeps, will be the final quest, and it's going to solidify the finale of the series. Obviously, I have to do the Varlamore quest before then, and I'll make a brief mention of them, but by not giving them their own episode right now, later down the line, once Varlamore stories are actually complete, I can create a Varlamore special episode that isn't going to feel rushed, and give it more of a feature film length and feel. I've thought about all of this a lot, and I think that's going to be the best way to do this. So, I guess that's all I wanted to say. Three more episodes? Saving the best story for last in this final sprint to the quest cape. One final grind. Let's get after it.